Tony Grossi, longtime uh, Browns beat reporter, uh, talked about um, if he thinks the Browns could fire Kevin Stefanski from Mike Vrabel. If Vrabel agreed to take this job over any other one, do you think the Haslam's would make that move and fire Kevin Stefanski? I think that's to be determined. I, I don't, I'm not confident to say they would do that right now. But what do you need to no. see, Tone? It's been five years. What do you need to see? Well, he's had two good years out of out of four, and uh, two not so good years. But this is the worst of the of the uh, five. So you got to decide who's mostly responsible for this mess, this year's mess. And I don't think it's him. Uh, they might disagree, but right again, I, I'll repeat what I constantly say. The fact he does his job better than Andrew Barry does his job. Mm -hmm. So why would you fire the coach? Tony, worst case scenario for Kevin is the Browns win three games. Oh yes, absolutely. And would you? you would you think fourteen? You think it would be an automatic? Yeah, I think so. At that point, I mean, that think about it. You're you're talking about one and six from this point on, uh, or one and seven, one and seven. And Tim, that you know, I'm sure that will factor into it. What is it you expected to contend for an AFC championship this year? What is the final record? Um, and, and I get it. When you're when you are this bad, everything's on the table. I will say the the error in this, and I was all for it, was trying to build an offense around Deshaun Watson. You probably had to do that because of the 230 million guaranteed that he's due. It hasn't worked. Don't, don't, do not trot this offense back out. It's not good. Yeah, obviously something with that. I think it's going to have to change going into 2025. But when I look at, you know, in particular, getting to Mike Vrabel and the, that idea, obviously Mike, what Mike Vrabel did in Tennessee, you can't ignore that. Obviously riding Derrick Henry to an AFC championship game and, you know, they got exposed when Ryan Tannehill couldn't keep up with Patrick Mahomes in the AFC title game. But Vrabel got a lot out of not a lot. And I do think he his temperament and his style, it's kind of the textbook old school AFC North type of coach you would be kind of looking for i think i feel like he's more new school than a lot of people realize particularly when it comes to certain decision making aspects you know fourth down things like that i think he's more nuanced than you know he comes across and certainly i would imagine after this season he and lions offensive coordinator ben johnson might be the two most talked about guys for head coaching jobs around the nfl considering how good the lions have looked so if, if for the browns it comes down to whether you think it's you can upgrade from Kevin Stefanski, who, again, as, as Tony Grossi said, he's had two good seasons out of five, two good, two mediocre, and this one obviously being bad. And if you decide Vrabel would have made this team better, then you make the move. But, again, two and seven, with all the things that have gone on, I don't think you can put on really any one person. I think it's been a collective issue throughout this entire season, and I think really everybody that's part of it has a hand in what has gone wrong for this team.